what kind of practices you do in like now nowadays like yeah say so, so people read a lot uh, about spirituality but they don't practice but i have seen you practicing many things mm, mm. and before also you said uh, you did many things can you yeah. share about your journey yeah sure i'm very happy to very very uh, so that i would again it's a uh, i'm very privileged to have uh, to have allowed myself or permitted myself to be curious um and uh, really you want to say follow my nose so to speak mm-hmm. but if i were to really uh, from from let's say from the audience perspective i would say something it is like finding your own path mm-hmm. there is no one uh, size that fits all as they would say isn't yeah, it exactly so so my journey took through would say uh, many countries many masters at this in real life many masters mm-hmm. uh, at this point of time what is what is uh, guiding my uh, my my progress and coming back home to myself is my my reiki practice which i was very fortunate to have received diksha from ajit sir from uh, reiki with aniketan that really guides my progress a mm-hmm. uh, couple of other things which really really uh, guides my progress is uh, shirdi sai baba mm-hmm. i think he i think sai baba appeared in my life uh, he was always there i i started recognizing him just two years back mm-hmm. and uh, for me um, i think he uh, I think he allowed me to really experience spirituality just being human. Mm. I think earlier I was in this whole whole uh, space of uh, doing multiple practices, multiple masters, and getting uh, very much, you know, how to say, uh, there was a, there was a so-called should in spirituality. Mm-hmm. And I think after Baba appeared in my life, it was like uh, effortless. That is, it is just important to show up. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's important to have a disciplined life, of course, mm-hmm. but not get too much hung on the shoulds of life. Mm-hmm. and that's probably probably for take a one practice amongst all the practices just like unfolding with life flowing with life and uh, and embracing life about it is mm-hmm. so i think for me my uh, uh, current practice with reading the sai satcharita is probably the the practice mm-hmm. i would always lean back on mm-hmm. and if i have to take only one one practice with me for the rest of my life mm-hmm. it only be sai satcharita thanks for watching i hope you learn something from this video please share your views or questions in comment below i will reply you very shortly please subscribe this channel and get connected with me